I'm going to say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Kahalo Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rukakadash. I want to give double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I want to salute my brothers, YSO, uh, Yahweh Shah, Sanctified Ones out of Nashville, Tennessee. I want to salute the, the men, women, and children. That's believing in this truth, the one third and the remnant, um, you know, and the uh, speck of birds, you know, um, you know, we all make up the uh, 12 tribe of Israel, which is the so-called Negroes, Native Americans and Hispanics. And like I said before, the speck of bird, which is you are who your father is, you know, um, I just want to, um, you know, come to a lesson. Um, a lot of brothers doing lessons on um, on um, you know kings, man. The way we we should think. Uh, one of my brothers did a video on king language. You know, I'm thinking of king language, attire, food, wisdom. But today, I just want to come to you uh, with a small one, man. That uh, you know, Proverbs 25. I'm going to re regurgitate it when I get there. But uh, Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 25, which is, I'm just going to paraphrase it. Kings is to search out a matter. I want to say that again. Kings is to search out a matter, man. And, uh, you know, what us um, brothers coming in is true, who are new or who been in the truth for a while, man. Uh Hopefully you'll be edified, and hopefully that you'll be able to understand um, the importance of brotherhood, man. You know, um, brotherhood is very important because uh, you know Yahweh Shai was that one. Yahweh Shai had a beautiful brotherhood, and we and we was we we follow him as we follow him through the words right now. You know. Through the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is uh, you know what we go by, man. These proverbs that we have, you know, Ecclesiasticus, you know, uh, you know, all the other the, the books that's in the Bible um, that has wisdom, wisdom of Solomon. We can go on and on and on, man. But I have, I'm going to read some scriptures down. And, um, you know, I want to be able to, to edify the sheep, man. Um, and, and, and edify the brotherhood that uh, hopefully they can apply this to their daily life. But starting for the one, I'm just going to read a little bit. And then the points that I have, I'm going to stop. Um, I should go all the way down to uh, Proverbs 1, all the way down to uh, probably 9, but in, in between I will have precepts. So let's start with uh, Proverbs 25 verse 1. Um, these are the Proverbs of Solomon. So, you know, King Solomon, yeah, like I said, man, Yahusha in reincarnation, if you can understand that or if you can get that. You know, um, so reincarnation is in the Bible, but um, this that's not the, this is not the point. But let me continue. Proverbs 21. That's like a Proverbs 25 verse one. These are also Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied out. So Hezekiah was one of the, the kings of Judah. Man, Matter of fact, let's see which one. Yeah, the twelfth king. So the twelfth king of Judah, son of Ahaz, and Abijah. So that probably is Abaha, uh, Yah, you know. Um, and did away with idolatrous uh, practice. So that this is one of the one of the good kings that wanted to get rid of a lot of stuff that was going on at the time. So uh, here's the point. This is one of my points, Proverbs 25, verse 2. This is kind of regurgitating what I have for the title. It is the it, it is the glory of our power to conceal a thing, 
but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. And that's where we are right now. You know, each brother are growing and, and being groomed by Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, the one that we always say the hopeful elect, the 144,000. We're, we're being groomed to become kings, you know. And so that we're trying to search out that matter. Um, the precept, I wanted to get with that. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, Deuteronomy 29. Verse 29. The secret things belong unto the Lord Yahweh, our power. But those things which are revealed belong unto us. So that revealing to us to find, just like he said in, in Proverbs 25, it says what? Amen. Search out a matter. That's what kings do. Search out their matter. So it's, so what did the Lord say? The secret things belong unto the Lord Yahweh, our power, you know, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. So you're supposed to pass down this 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 knowledge, man. You're supposed to pass down the knowledge to you from 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 you, your son, your son, your son, your son, your son, man, forever. And that's how it's gonna be in the kingdom, man. Yahweh willing, man. If we're if we're part of that elect, one third, you know. And if you're the two thirds, hey, you're gonna come in through the one thirds, the loins of the one thirds, you know. You know, for so for the ones who can receive this, you know, uh, that all Israel shall be saved. But so the ones can receive this, I uh, hopefully that you'll be part of that one third, you know, men, women, and children, that remnant. So let me continue. That we may do all the words of this law. You know? These laws, laws, statutes, and commandments that we always talk about, man. The laws, statutes, and commandments always um you know, um that's what we're supposed to go by, man. But, you know, we're on a disgrace period right now. But the law is not done away with for any Christianity that want to knock that, man. So here you go. I got another precept in regards to it. Romans. Eleven. Verses 33 and 34. Shalakia. Yeah. Should just type it in. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the Lord. That's like of the both of the. Let me start out to the top. Romans 11 and 33. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom in knowledge of our power how unsearchable are his judgments in his ways past finding out for for who hath known to mind of the lord or who hath been his counselor like we ain't been his counselor man so we must search out who yahweh bashim yahushai his judgments his law statutes and commandments you know, as kings, we're, we're constantly searching out, searching, cut. I mean, you growing this, you, you, you growing into this thing, man. This truth, it's not just a thing. It's, it's just this truth, man. And you got you got elders and apostles. You got brothers who've been in this truth for a while. Hey, that's why every video, almost every video that I do, I always say I like to sit myself around. Um, you know, um, brothers, that's um, a wisdom, man. You want to sit yourself around counselors and in, 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 in a council of men of wisdom so that you can understand and get these things, man. So uh, let's go to uh, go back to Proverbs 25. We continue. The heavens 
for for height in the earth for depth in the heart of kings is unsearchable man <laughs> so your 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 mind your heart your mind man which you're gonna constantly be unsearchable you're gonna constantly want to uh, understand more and more and more about this truth I know I do take away the dross from silver and there shall come forth a vessel from the finer take away the wicked from before the king and his throne shall be established in righteousness that's what you do man hey, throw off that old man of the wicked and then the new throne, hey, you want to do it with this righteous, man. You know, when you come in as a truth, and hey, you come in thinking, you know, I got to keep taking this this righteous now. So the Lord's High is sharpening you up, cleansing you up of that gold, man. You know, and trying to get you into a righteous mind. I know, I, I know, I, I continue to say, I know I do. And I know the brothers who are out there preaching and teaching and going on the highways and the byways are, man. The most high is sharpen you up or he'll cast you out, man. So either one you take. But, hey, through, through my experiences, hey, man, hey, you, you, this, this thing is no joke, man. So if you come in this thing, hey, you come in with it, with, 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 uh, sincerity. Or the most high will take you, take you through some stuff, man. Hey, believe me, you watch videos of brothers, man, who came in this thing and didn't do the most high's will. Was lukewarm. Hey, man, they got cast out and got seven more demons put on them that they had before. Hey, don't believe me? Hey, try it, man. All right, so verse, Proverbs 25 and 6. Put not forth thyself in the presence of the king and stand not in the place of great men. You know. All right. Here's my point, and that and that and that, that right there is gonna I'm, gonna I'm gonna be able to give you a point on the precepts on this one. So this is for better. It is that it, it's like it, for better it is that it be said unto thee, come up hither. Then that thou should be put lower in the presence of a prince. Whom thy eyes have seen. And you know, when I wrote this down and I was studying, man, you know, uh the key was sit down with men. You know, hey, cause when you come in this thing, man, you can't just sit down with just any man right quick. You no, know, there's levels to this thing. And then I didn't really understand it at first till I started reading it. Now I read the precept, man. That's why you gotta read precept upon precept, line upon line, man. So when I went to Luke. 14 verse 8 and it was revealed through Yahweh Shai what he said he said when thou art biding of any man let's look at that word so so we can get an understanding to be invited to invite to call out the allow your name to give name to receive a name to 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 some name to one call his name so you got to be invited man we go back and continue to read. So, where thou art biding of an any of any man to a wedding, sit not in the highest room. Hey, and that's what some brothers do when they come in this thing, man. They want to sit in the highest room. Hey, you gotta. It's, it takes time to get up to the to 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 the to the uh penthouse, man. You know, you just don't care. Hey, who 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 who? Hey, if you first come in this thing, who want to sit down with your house shop, man? Hey, cause he gonna say some things. Hey, he gonna break it down to the low to the high. But who wants to sit? Who who wants to sit at the table when you ain't ready? When you ain't mentally? So what did Yahweh Shai say? Sit not down in the highest room, least a more honorable man than thou. Be invited of him. You're invited, man. You gotta be invited. You gotta be invited to that table, man. And he that by, by die. Uh, by D, D, and I was wondering what that word, man. We can get that word right quick, too. It's the same thing, man, to call out, to be invited, you know, to give, to receive, to salute one by the name. You got to be called, man, you know. So, 
All right, just go Luke 14 and 10. And then Yahweh Shah was saying, but when thou art fighting. No, it's like it. I go to nine. So like it, brothers and sisters. Uh, Luke 14 and 9. And he that body thee and him come and say to thee, give this man place. And thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. Hey, cause you wouldn't invite it, man. <laughs> you better take somebody else's place, man. You know you ain't never been to a, a, a wedding, um, where someone invited you. Hey, man, you got to be invited. You can't just be going. You can't walk in and just, hey, man, I'm sitting. Hey, you can't be a groomsman. When I'm, you know, this is just carnally thinking, man. You can't just be a groomsman, and um, uh, you know, um. <laughs> sit down you can't do that man you gotta be invited for there's Luke 14 and 10 but when thou art biting go and sit down in the lowest room it's okay man it's alright to be at the lower room man because you're gonna grow into being able to uh, understand how to sit with real kings hey it's always about waiting until your turn your turn man and it's okay, man. You know, a lot of brothers don't want to take that humbleness. You know, I got to do it. Everybody got to do it. That when he that abided, uh, uh, it's like that he, it's like when he that by thee or by thee, thee cometh, he may say unto thee, friend, go up higher. So when you're invited and you're called, hey, you're my, your friend. Men, come up higher. You're excelling. You're, you're increasing. That shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that see, sit at meat with thee. Hey, you start to eat that meat. You start to you start to understand what it is and how important it is uh, to be at that level. You know, when you're looking at elders and apostles. Or brothers who've been in this truth for you know ten plus years, or even five years, man, you start to see their movement, and you take, you know, take what they have, man. I'm I'm still young in this thing, man. You know, I'm still learning and earning. Um. So I'm, and that's why I wanted to just to make it, man. You know, sit down, man. You know, sit, where do you sit? You know, yeah, this is your Howard Shah speaking, man. Where do you sit at the table? You know? And we all going to get there. Yahweh willing, man. Yahweh willing, we're going to get there. And so then we all will sit at the same table if we the whole full that, man. 144,000. But until then, man, hey, just take a seat and learn. And I'm, and I'm saying this to myself, man. You know? This is nothing to get on anybody. I just thought, you know, when I when I read that scripture, man, a king search out a matter. I just wanted to do a video on it, man, for, for a lot of us, brothers. I'm not speaking to just any specific brother. I'm just speaking to everybody, man. You know, if you come in this thing, hey, there's levels. So. Who sleeps in Hawaii's unsold hotel rooms? Unsold. So lock you. Put not there forth thyself in the presence of the king. And that's why I told you, you know, I'm talking about sitting down. This is right here is the point. And I made the point in seven. And that's why I did a precept on seven. But we're going to go back and reiterate that. Uh, Proverbs 25 and 6. Put not that. Put not forth thyself in the presence of a king if you're not ready. And stand not in the place of great men if you're not ready. For better it is that that is that it be said unto thee come up hither then that thou shouldest be put lord in the presence of the prince whom thy eyes have seen and then that's why i gave you that precept you know um that was in uh, luke 14 you know 
8 through 10. You know, you got to be able to, to, to get there, man. All right. Proverbs 8. That's another point. Um, I mean, you can go into Proverbs 25, man. There's a lot, a lot of, a lot of subjects you can go into. But these are the ones that I wanted to go into. So Proverbs 25 and 8. Go not, go, go not forth hastily to strife, lest thou know not what to do in the end thereof, when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame. And when I was reading this, you know, I was just thinking, man, you know, when, when we have, a, when you have a brotherhood, man, yeah, um, get the, the what I want, the, the precept that I'm gonna get, this right here is gonna gonna help brothers overcome some strife, man. And uh, yeah, you know, Matthew's five and twenty-five. That's what I'm about to go to. It's gonna teach us that strife. Um. To, to overcome it, man, and how to overcome it. These are just steps, man, that, uh, you know, brothers should take, man. And uh, that's how you learn, man. Again, here's your house shot, man. What do you say? Agree with thy adversaries quickly while thou art in the way with him least at any time the adversary delivered thee to the judge and the judge delivered thee to the officer and to thou be cast into prison so you know us being in this truth man um and Salakia, the next precept will be about the brotherhood but um this right here is where um you know when you in this truth man you got to agree with our adversaries, meaning the cops, police, when you're out there. You know, if they tell you to shut down count, then that's what you do. You know, but these things must happen, man. But there's a way to, uh, you know, come out on top, man. You know, because what did, did, did the Howard Shah speak? You know, what people ignorantly call Jesus is written in red uh, for the first comers. Um, but he says what? Matthew 5 and 25. Agree with thy adversary quickly. Whiles the art in the way with him. Least at any time the adversary delivered thee to the judge. And the judge delivered thee to the officer. And, that, and thou be cast into prison. So there's you no, know, you go to the judge. You go to the, to the officer. You cast a... Hey, but there's a ways of doing it, man. And the most high is going to be there for us. But I wanted to do that because we have to compete. We have to keep our composure and have our spirit. This is a time where we like us brothers always love to go into, man. You know, Isaiah 33 and 6, which is uh, I'm just going to bring it out. Man. I just love bringing it out um, because wisdom and knowledge is the stability of time, man. So Isaiah 33. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord Yahweh is his treasure. So when we and so you know when when some of us do go to that point, we have to have that wisdom and that knowledge. We have to have that composure in the spirit. You know. Um, go back to Proverbs. All this right here is strength boosting, man. You know, because all of us going through, you know, uh, hell and back. You know, I talk to brothers on on a daily. Like I said, man, build that council of men of wisdom. Um, you know, so I talk to brothers, man, and all of us is going through it, man. You know, where that that you know, you're getting sharpened and you're getting uh, pierced. You know, pierced like in, in the silver and the gold, man. You gotta get pierced. You gotta get cleansed. You gotta get cleaned. Um, whatever your lot is, man, that's that's your lot. Um, but hey, as we getting pierced, man, we had to also learn. 
learn how uh, to overcome it. All right. So here's another one that I have. Uh, Proverbs 25 and 9. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself and discover not secret to another. All right, and, I'm, and I got a precept to that. Um, but I want to continue. Least he that heareth it put thee to shame and thy infamy turn not away. So this this is a time like like I said with the brotherhood, man. You know, and and I want brothers to understand, man. Hey, it's I'm not calling out no one. You know, I'm just saying the things that uh, happened in the past or things that you see. You know, hey, you can apply some of your experiences in the past and in the future to these scriptures, man. You know, you 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 can you can uh. Uh, look at man, man. I went through something back in the days. If I had these scriptures, maybe I could have, uh, you know, I, maybe, maybe, maybe it wouldn't escalate that way, man. And we always talk about it as a count, man. You never know uh, who, who, who may come back. You know, the Lord may give them the spirit to come back, or, uh, you know. Or or, or or find out what their what what their mistake may be uh, after they continue to read scriptures, man. And um, there's a precept to that, Matthew. And I love this scripture, man, because it brings edification uh, to myself after reading it, man. Okay, you know, I you know, yeah, I was speaking a lot in this, man. So I I asked the Most High to give me the Spirit, and so as I said from the beginning, and then also I'll say it at the end, man. Hopefully, this uh, lesson will be edifying uh, to the to the to the elect and to the to to the one thirds who are following, man. So uh, it's just Matthew 18 verse 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone and and then you know when you in this truth man a hey, that's that's the first point the first point is do what hey go to your brother and do what tell him his fault between thee and him alone not gossiping man not going to other brothers saying hey man go to that brother if you have a fault with him man you know it, it's levels and steps it says what if he shall hear thee Thou hast gained thy brother, man. Hey, cause you know you, you know how some people be a hey, hey, exaggerating on, on on a subject, man. It did you you gotta you got you gotta clean up the mess, man. I ain't say that. I ain't say that, man. You know. Hey, cause it's always so like it. It's always um where um someone uh uh I would say, man, a. Hey, I, I want to hear it from the horse's mouth, man. I want to hear it from that person who, who might have said it. Or, hey, man, you need to talk to that brother, you know, because, hey, I don't want to be the middleman. I used to have a job that was a broker, man. That's, that was one of the hardest things. It's brokering deals between two two entities or two two businessmen who, who are not coming to agreement. So, just like I said, man, you know, um... Go to your brother, man. You know, hey, we all—it's all love with all of us, man. And it, it could be a, a small flaw, um, a small fault, man. Verse sixteen, uh, Matthew eighteen and sixteen. But if he would not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established, man. See, you know, if, if you you and that brother can't 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 agree on it, hey, go get two or three more brothers, man, and then apply the scriptures according to your fault, or if you know if you was you was gone, uh, good or bad, man, if, you, if whatever your mistake is, you know, because the mistakes are done, and you know your faults through what the scriptures, man, and if he shall neglect to hear them. Tell it unto the church, to the whole church, man, to the whole camp. 
But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man in the public. Hey, man. Hey, he, he can't understand. He can't get it. Yeah, he, he's just giving him how to go, man. He's like a heathen man in the public, man. Let's get this breakdown. Cast him out, man. Yeah. Cast him out, man. Because I, I always knew in um one um in 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 the job setting, they always say, um, hey, one bad apple destroy the whole tree. So uh, you have to you have to get that apple, um, you know, out of and cast that apple out for for it destroys the whole trees, man. And like I said, man, you know, this is just for edification for the uh, hopeful elect, because I, you know, me, I don't really like chaos, man. I'm, I'm a laid back brother. You know, any of my brother would tell you I'm a laid back brother. And uh, I just like to sit down like yesterday, you know, my brothers, man, we came in fellowship. We break we break bread, you know. Um, we had the atonement, you know, Thursday night, sundown, the Friday sundown. And when the more you you're 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 in a, a agreement with your brothers, meaning, you know, you go you have a disagreement and that's o that's that's okay, man. Because we are all men. But the thing is it's overcoming the uh, adversity. But uh I'm going to conclude with this, man. I just wanted to come out with a couple of them. I might have a continuous, but these are some things that, you know, these are learning learning curves uh, for newer brothers or older brothers, uh, you know, and I learned a whole lot, you know. Not as I have never read these scriptures, but, you know, it's, I, th I thought that it would be, be good to, uh, to bring these out, man. So uh, you can go back and read these scriptures, and uh, hopefully uh, you was edified. Uh, to the next video, uh, I want to give uh, all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. I want to salute. Uh, I want to do. Yeah, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostle of Great Millstone. I want to salute my brother YSO Yahweh Shah Sanctified Ones, man. As we growing and um, as we're starting to uh, grow and manifest uh, to what the Lord is grooming us to be. Uh, to the uh, the hopeful elect, the 144,000. Hope you was edified. To the uh, men, women, and children. Hope you was edified. And to the next video, a hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom.